Hi, I'm Ron Zernicki, VE3RRZ, VE0AW. I'm located in Lorignal, Ontario, Canada, which is about 75 kilometers east of Ottawa. Today, I'd like to talk to you about broadband hamnet mesh load, which I'm about to install on my 64-foot DMX tower. While the node is still down here in the comforts of my home, and with the uh, weatherproof box opened up, I thought I'd give you a guided tour of the inside. For the router, I'm using the WRT54G Linksys router version 2. I've already uploaded the BBHN firmware version 1.0, and I've also removed the router PCB board from its protective housing and mounted it inside the weatherproof box on four plastic standoffs. The router will be powered by a 12 volt power over ethernet adapter located at the bottom here, which in turn will be connected to a power injector located in the house on a UPS. The two will be connected by a Cat5 cable. I also have two pigtails inside. Uh, both have the RP-TNC mail connector which are connected to the router's connectors. And on the other end I have two N female bulkhead connectors which are installed on the chassis. This will give me access to the router connectors on the outside of the chassis box when the door is closed. For coax, I'll be running two LMR400s up the tower. Now, I've decided to have my node box at about 20 feet off the ground, not any higher than that. And that's so I can service it very comfortably in winter, because obviously it gets really cold uh, at uh, the top of a tower when, uh, you know, it's the dead of winter. And like today, it's minus 18 degrees, and with the wind chill, it's minus 31. So that's a little too chilly for me. At the top of the tower, I'll be installing one omnidirectional antenna, and that will be for the local coverage uh, within my vicinity here. I've decided to use the uh, TP-Link ANT2412D uh, antenna, and that has a gain of uh, 12 dBi. I also have a directional antenna, which will be pointed westwards. I'm using the Anderson uh, parabolic grill antenna, and that's got a 24 dBi gain. Now the directional antenna will be pointed to the neighboring town of Alfred. Uh, there we plan to install a node on a 150 foot water tower. So the goal will be to have the two talking to each other very shortly. And once that's done, we're going to slowly work our way west. We've already accumulated 10 routers, which are almost ready to be deployed, just need uh, some preparations. And we're also anxious to get uh, our services up and running. I've already did a demonstration last week on running VoIP over the BBHN uh, mesh network. Um, I purchased a Raspberry Pi and installed Asterix. And I had two Cisco phones, uh, model 7912G and 7960, uh, running on the uh, mesh network connected to the uh, Asterix. And it was working great. And then we also installed two soft phone softwares on notebooks. Uh, we were using the Jitsi, J-I-T-S-I soft phone software, and that worked equally well. So there's a few more services we want to experiment with, um, possibly APRS, uh, local email services, local file servers. Um, the list goes on. I mean, the BB... HN network is just going to open a lot of doors for emergency services and we're just anxious to exploit them. So as the months go on and as our project uh, develops, uh, we will be putting other videos up there. So please stay tuned. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below. All there's really left to do is uh, just close the door and climb up the tower and get this node installed. So see you soon and happy meshing.